Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and uh, I got so many ideas for videos, just so, so, so many ideas, I can't even, uh, <laughs> keep saying I'm going to go back to three videos per day, and then it keeps not happening, but I, oh God, I got to get this rhino's mouth off the screen, this is making me ill, um, but anyway, this is not about this, uh, um, uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> rhino's mouth just d destroyed my whole day, um, this is going to be a review of uh, uh, Fallen uh, Angels by Brian Edward Hill. But um, somebody sent me the link for this. It's like a freaking, it's like an hour long interview with the creators of Squirrel Girl and they're just patting themselves on the back for an hour straight. So that one I'll probably do uh, I don't know, tonight or tomorrow. Um, but uh, okay, cool. Well, I didn't mean to show that page. Nothing, no personal protected information there uh that's part of the back end but anyway uh jawbreakers god king so i was reading this last night and i fell asleep which is not any fault of the book i was just exhausted off of two hours sleep i got snowed i went to the printers and then i got snowed in they rescheduled but the plane left at seven i had to get up at five so i got i couldn't you, you ever have that thing where it's like right in the middle you're like i might as well just stay up the entire night I'm not going to get any good sleep if I have to be up, up at 5 and, I'm, and if I oversleep, I miss a flight. Um, so I kind of fought it, fought it, fought it, and then <laughs> fell asleep and then just got two hours of actually pretty good sleep and then just woke up and just, ah! Um, but uh, anyway, uh, Jawbreaker's God King was bound yesterday and is right now in a truck driving uh, up to the distributor, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, so let's get into... Fallen Angels. Boy, I, re I, re I was just not prepared to start this video at all. You know, the obvious thing to would be to have an image of the first page. Okay, so this is Fallen Angels. This is, I believe, the last of the, you know, you had House of X, Powers of X, two six-issue miniseries that were debuted concurrently, effectively, slightly offset. Um, and then you had X-Men, by Jonathan Hickman and Lineal Francis Yu. And then you had, okay, let's, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to remember the, you had uh, Excalibur, you had uh, Marauders, you had uh, the, the one I liked, X-Force, I think there's one other, and then there's Fallen Angels. Fallen Angels was this uh, Anne Nascenti written miniseries. I'm pretty sure it was Anne Nascenti. Uh, I never read it. It had really bland art, and it was this really, like, mismatched team. They're like, they're teenagers who don't follow the rules, I think, maybe. We're not sure. And so no one really talks about it. It's just one of those things you see in quarter boxes. Um, but uh, Brian Edward Hill was handed this and just decided, he's like, eh, screw it. I'll just write a good book. <laughs> so, so what this is, is people who are unhappy with living in paradise. Now, the good news is is that the mutant ethnostate storyline, the Krakoa Island sto storyline, they seem to be showing the cracks in dystopia, or a fake utopia, a lot more quickly. I thought we were going to get a year of, isn't it all great? We're all, we're all frenzies and we're all on an island. It's like, no, 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 no. So these are the people who just kind of hate it. And this story is great. And if it feels like I'm stalling before showing you the interior art, it's because I'm trying to get your brain to click and say, yes, I will buy this before we go and we see it's a bunch of traced uh, photographs. Yeah. Um, I will say to this guy's credit, uh, Simon Kudransky, that his tracing has gotten better and it's done more artfully. Um, this is basically, I mean, I, I'm... I'm Pretty much everyone knows that Mitch, uh, oh God, what's his name? Okay. <laughs> I just, I just totally, uh, blanked on this guy, this guy's name. Well, that's what's cool to be talking on a laptop while you have your phone and you go to Tom Hill, uh, Tom King, Iraq, and what was his Iraq? Mitch, Ed, Mitch, Edward, Mitch Gerads. Goddamn white people and your generic ass names. I can't tell you apart. I was hitting up, uh, I was hitting up, uh, uh, oh gosh, none of these names are making. I was hitting up Eric Weathers. I was like, hey, I think I still owe you some money from, uh, you know, uh, when we were going through multiple drafts of the, uh, the print file before we locked it. 
And then I started writing to uh, Kyle Ritter because in my mind, Kyle Ritter and Eric Weathers are the exact same name. Like they're exactly the same. Um, but yeah, so I kind of stalled and vamped for a while because I don't, I don't want the traced artwork to scare you away. I will say a couple of things. This is the best of all of the, I believe it's called Dawn of X books. It's, it's very, like there's a lot of blood in the veins. It, it's vital and it's distinct. And um, no, it, it doesn't have the deal where um, all the mutants are talking like this. Welcome to our utopia. Uh, and uh, they're, they're talking like uh, they're mutants, but they're talking like they people, just regular people with feelings and drives and desires and fears. And oh, God. Oh, this is some really bad trace tart. Oh, wow. Wow. Stories good. Stories good. Stories very good. 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 So the team is, well, the team is Psylocke, Cable, uh, X-23. Um, I don't know why Captain Britain. I guess she'll come in later. And then Magneto is kind of, he's kind of their... I don't know. Who, who is the guy who gave the orders in Charlie's Angels? Uh, Bosley. He's their Bosley. Um, and then Mr. Sinister, he's like the Huggy Bear. Or, I don't know. Okay, so uh, yeah, so Brian Hill, Simon Kudransky. Uh, I have to give a lot of credit to Frank Darmada because I feel like he's I, the first couple pages are very wonky, and this is, you know, comicsology, so of course it's going to hang when I'm just trying to open a page that's already been opened earlier. Just like 15 minutes. You don't have a cachet at all? Nothing? Nothing? You okay there? You doing good? Okay. So you can see this is... Uh, Simon Kudransky knows he's tracing, and he knows that people know he's tracing. So he's tracing more artfully, and that can absolutely be done. Uh, Mitch Ed Gerard's, uh Mitch Gerard's work is quite good. It's still traced, but he traces artfully. And if you get a good composition and a good color artist, I believe Mitch Gerads is his own color artist, it can work. As you saw, those first couple of pages were pretty terrible, but this this works. There is some actual drawing here. It's not all tracing. Uh, that's one of the things. You know, people go to tracing because they feel they either feel or their actual drawing is inferior. So they go, well, let me cheat to win. And you can cheat to win. Art is just a bunch of cheats. You know what I mean? This is just a flat screen. There's there's no faces on here. There's no bushes here. It's all just an illusion. So everything's cheating. It's just, you know, how artful is your cheating? It's just this man spreading. This, there's just so many BuzzFeed articles being written now, you can't even imagine it. So this is some really, really good, and I'm going to uh, probably... Um, I'm going to read the dialogue just to show like it's it's good. They're, they're talking like people. They're, they're talking like intense, like Shakespearean people. But it sounds like humans. They don't sound like they're all doped. You know how all the other books I have to do like this, this fan theory that everyone's doped on some drug and it's making them act like space aliens? I don't have to do that here. Braddock hated me. Hate like a psychic dagger she ran through my mind. Do you remember? I'm not Elizabeth Braddock. And... From what Xavier has told me, I'm not sure hate matters anymore. Hate always matters. You had a bad dream, Psylocke. In the wake of Xavier's death, we are on lockdown. There will be no passage from Krakoa. Your request to leave is denied. This was no dream, Magneto, and we are not safe from it. Okay, so what do you see? Um, actually, th there's some really good stuff here with uh, Magneto. He he's, um, he's, uh, he's himself. He's not the bland, now we are in brotherhood, and that is so great. Uh, so at one point, she's like a, a Psylocke, she says. And it does get complicated because there's Elizabeth Betsy Braddock. And then there's Psylocke, who was Quanon, which is the third character. And there is, you know, psychic intrusion and all the cultural appropriation. It gets messy. Well, just if you read... If you read it in the 90s and you said, oh, is this Betsy Braddock? No, it's not. It's someone who was called Quanon for a while, but she doesn't even want to be called that. She wants to be called Psylocke. It, it's complicated. Um, she, and so uh, Psylocke says, you gave me a rule and now you're helping me break it. And then Magneto says, I have no idea what you mean. In my grief over Charles's death, I forget conversations officially. That's good. That is uh, 
and then she thanks him. He goes, don't thank me. I haven't done anything. That's that's some good stuff. So then they're on the track of this guy called uh, Apoth who makes this uh, uh, kind of matrix, you know, digital drug. Um, he says, uh, and then we meet, uh, then we, there's been some weird uh, reason to write uh, Mr. Sinister very like fey and foppish, but he comes off here as, wait for it, sinister. And even though, yes, there is some traced art in this, you know, uh, uh, let's just call it a compilation. It works. If you look at the screen right now, it works. Um, so they talk about her, her issues with the name of uh, Quanon, and, and this is great. So you want me to help you break the laws of paradise. Um, and then he, and then she, he's, er, she says, uh, you constantly break the laws of nature, don't you? He says, my dear, nature has no law. What was it like the first time you killed someone? How did it change you, Psylocke? She says, Sinister, I'm trying to prevent an apocalypse. He says, Apocalypse is a blue man with a very bad temper and none of my concern. You disturbed my work. Be mindful not to bore me, Psylocke. I asked you a question. She says, Killing made me realize that life only matters when we choose to make it matter. This is good stuff. I'm, re I'm reading it for the second time. I got chills the second time uh, reading it. So this is... This is just really, really good stuff. So they, they, um, I'm going to go back to the boomer, boomer, boomer. Okay, boomer. How do you do it? Okay. So browse pages. They do the, this infographic thing where they explain what the drug, uh, how the drug works, this, uh, overclock and, and they explain it well. It's, it, it's digital. So, you know, uh, it, in most countries, there aren't regulations against it. They even mentioned that EU is quick to realize that this is a drug. So they, they did some quick re regulations. But the way they describe it uh, kept making me think about this one. The, the meme about Ice-T doing a fake special victim unit screen caps. It's like, turns out that joint was laced with cat litter and soy sauce. Kids are calling it Brown Christmas. <laughs> I've seen actually some better ones. The people who ripped on this one. Uh, all of these are funny. Well, most of them are funny. It's like, they made him fight a newborn baby. Told him it was his own younger self. Time traveling from the past. Trying to take away his birthday. <laughs> Lab found traces of cocaine and sourdough. They call it sweet chowder. It's a drug soup from Baltimore. <laughs> There's some... Where's the other one? Toxicology says she OD'd on some new narcotic called toilet brittle. It's made from trail mix and hand lotion. Where's my favorite one? Six-year-old girl. Promoted to manager. Then forced to fire herself right before Christmas. <laughs> Some of these, are not, they're not even, they're not even drug jokes. They're just funny ones. But, uh, uh, this is great. Absolutely fantastic. Please try to, like I said, Simon, Simon, Simon Kadransky is, he's working through some stuff. He is really not good at drawing children. Um, although I have to say one thing that was cool is they have X23 and they have her in this fight scene and she's, she's shorter. Uh, that they, they kind of forget that she's young and she's a woman. She's going to be shorter than most of the men. Um, so anyway, uh, go check it out. It's uh, Fallen Angels by uh, Brian Edward Hill and Simon Kudransky. And uh, yeah, uh, art-wise, absolutely not the best. But story-wise, probably the best with X-Force being the second best of this uh, Dawn of X phase, age, whatever you want to call it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone given to the uh, GoFundMe and the Indiegogo, your funny original content and an original lawsuit. Today, uh, I'm just, uh, you know, um, exporting all the spreadsheets of the different backers with the different perks and sending that off to the uh, uh, distro center. I got time because, you know, they're not, it's driving right now. But uh, they turn that stuff around really fast. It's a distro center. They're, they're very good at that type of stuff. So uh, I, we did that uh, Jawbreakers Lost Souls Remastered. And we ironed out the problems with the, you know, the, uh, the mailers. We got the Gemini mailers. Those work great. And then even just you know, the addresses and getting there on time. It's, it's, it's really good. Very, very exciting. Thanks for watching. Bye.